Welcome back. We're going to do a couple more years of Dragon Pass and see if we can't make the Carls happier, because they've been kind of pissy lately. Uh, she got, she broke her hand hitting the cube, which is a shame. Coming Harvest will be very poor and will be blessed with many children. Well, that's just terrific. Uh, I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, hunting trade. Why not? Herds. Extra magic. Barn. Greatest died of old age. Well, good for him. Oh, God, the farmers are still pissy. Stop being pissy. The renowned prophet Einarth Milkeyes, who hails from a distant clan, returns. A golden tribe I see before me, built of this Tula's timber. I see rivals setting aside their differences and a new unity in this land. I see triumph, if these clan halls contain sufficient wit and bravery. Uh, we shall immediately begin assembling a tribe. So now we're moving in. Hey, the farmers resolved now. Good for them. The weapon things are unshakable, which is outstanding. Uh, how are we on farmers? God damn. Quit giving me. There. Farmers want the ladies feel they're being treated fairly. Okay, how about now? What about now? 258 farmers. How many farmers do we have? 376. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, that reminds me, we need to change the, the food layout. More barley. Uh, 43 heights of land and 104 herders. It sounds like we're in good shape. Uh, we have 30, so 300. God damn, we have a lot of cattle. We should stockpile more food. Derps. Uh, let's see if we can buy a treasure. See, this is basically what we want on our tribe, because they're the closest to us. That's a pretty good arrangement, unless someone's got some really irritating thing they want. I know, let's ally with the Mule Deers again. I liked being allied with them. Propose alliance with the Mule Deers. I think they were... No, they liked the fact that we had lots of warriors. And they're Elmolians, so we'll give them some horses. Uh, seek s safety, not glory. Uh, you will profit greatly from an alliance with us. Yep, we should be allies. Oh no, it's the sorcerers! Southers, coming to your Tula, looking for the present location of the Gorin clan. They say they are agents of the Pharaoh, the tyrannical ruler your people fled when you came to this land. They appear to be sorcerers, at the very least. Those strange implements they carry are probably magical weapons. The implements emit a low thrumming sound, the likes of which you've never heard. Uh, they would not swagger in here if they didn't have the bravado to bracket up. I know where they are! Uh -huh. They serve the Pharaoh's men mean none of us any good. They use a kind of magic that all good Orlanthe abhor. Yeah, go for it. Die, sorceress scum. We attacked them, although a wailing bolt killed one of our warriors. We slew them. We do not keep the thrumming instruments, because they're evil and bad, and they mess up our harvests. Uh, let's cast a raid. The eagles. Oh no, they're back! They're back! Kill maneuver. Oh god. Now, your leadership is excellent, your combat is renowned, but you're just terrible. Uh, we had to maneuver. After three of their finest warriors stumble and fall in the initial class, a dozen of the eagle warriors facing Ortosi lift their shields high and begin moving to their rear. But if the Ortosi hesitates, the opportunity will be lost. What should he do? He should charge them! Oh, they ran like hell. Jesus! You really kicked their ass. Uh, we should not name it Ortosi after our chief. We should name it... Hmm, our tribe. Ah. Listen, Deathomaniacs. I want you to eat your vitamins, say your prayers, and sacrifice to Orland. Yeah, brother. There's four clans to make up the tribe. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to the white horses. Let's talk to the ice old things. And let's...
cattle raid the eagles again. Oh no, they're back again! We got some captives. Can we do captives? I like captives. Oh god. If we're still see rallies to break the eagle charge, you have a good chance of winning the fight. Uh, rally and counter charge. God damn it, he's dead again! For the love of god. Ransom. Raised by the wolves! What's up with them? Grab them off, charge. We lost, even though we killed a lot of them. Ving and warrior women burst into your clan hall during a feast. They set fire to the hall and wound several warriors and ring members. As your weapon things rally to drive them off, they retreat, sustaining only light wounds themselves. Your attackers were from the Eagle Clan, whose weapon thanes are well known for hiring out their martial services to other clans. They are often employed during feuds. Many of your people immediately assume they were hired by the White Horses whom you were feuding with. Eagle Law Speakers are, will claim they are not responsible for the attack. We can force the White Horses to pay for peace. Wow, a bunch of people are hurt. Uh, we must make peace with the White Horses. Political marriage. And they told us to go piss off. You want to help us out with the questing again? Haggle over the price. Sure, whatever. Okay, so these guys. I really would like to bring uh, what's his face back to life again. <laughs> he keeps dying, and he's our best warrior. Jesus. <laughs> Clan is soul thing. Famed for its robust pig herds, wants the following if they are to join your tribe. So this is all about making people happy. Each clan must sacrifice a dozen pigs to Meraltha, the pig mother. Whatever. A pig mother priestess must sit on your tribal council for one in four years. The tribute they pay to the white horses for the bad smell of their herds must be ended. Okay. The other clans of the tribe must each supply them with ten baskets of acorns a year. Uh, we agree to the sacrifices. Let's say... 15. Okay. We'll end the tribute to the White Horses. Uh, we'll allow the Priestess. They will come join our tribe. Or, look at joining our tribe. Let's go talk to the Ernal Dory, the planners. Let's bring our chieftain back to life. This isn't cheap, you asshole. Well... Yeah, I guess it is. Short of Carl's again. We have, like, 400 Carl's. What do you want? Horrible, horrible people. People wounded? Not very many. Well, those two nobles are wounded. We need to fix that. Take more of our silver. The Arnold Dory clan is known for its long-range planning and for a tavern it maintains as part of its market. Its chief, Antarios, is expecting you and has a list of demands. He wants a tribal hall to be built on Arnold Dory land. He wants to host the Confederation. He wants to write to the... He wants to the right to build and run taverns and other tools, and he wants the new tribe to make peace with trolls. No. Um, yes, you can build taverns. Uh, you can host the moot. And we'll give you some gifts. Yes, and we will let you build the tribal hall. I don't want to make peace with the trolls. Whatever. It's not like we have to do it. We just have to tell him we're going to. Uh, we want the Lysangs. Yes, we know this year's harvest was a bad one. Uh, let's see. They want the rights to hunt another clan's tool, a sacrifice is made to Adalia, and a mutual oath of support. Well, I like the mutual support oath. Um, give a treasure to the tribal regalia. You can have hunting rights. And we'll do sacrifices. Whatever. Oh, well, screw you if you don't want to be in the tribe. Um, how about the Arnorings? Okay. Let's put Dumbass back in charge. Is there anyone else new? <laughs> no. He's not bad, but... You have a Lanker Mai on the ring. Or uh, as a leader on the ring. And I wish she wasn't so old. He's not... Mm, there's potential in him, but he's pretty terrible now. We've got some young people, but no Orlanthians. That's not a good thing. How do we not have any Orlanth worshippers in our freaking tribe? Got a new uh, custom guy. 
magic? Oh, you're pretty good at magic. Excellent at animals. And what a magic? Very good at magic. So our magic isn't all that great, actually. That's... Oh yeah, I meant to put dumbass back on the back in charge. Ah, I'm really good at stuff. Asshole. Uh, let's try another hero quest. Well, let's try uh, Elmal Guards the Stead. That's a good one. We shall perform. We shall. Mm. Strengthen the quester. No, he's gonna die soon. Gain Elmal's aid when we're attacked. And we couldn't enter the realm of the gods, because, you know, it sucks to be us. Emissaries approach the earliest clan to arrive in the area. They are rings to see if they want to join your new tribe. We might be interested. If you promise to make war on our enemies, the Beast Folk, you must also perform an annual ritual to propiate the spirit of the stone cross we took from the boundary between Hortland and Dragon Pass. And naturally, as a senior clan, we must have seats on the tribal council. Well, first, we'll give you gifts. Have some gifts. We will propitate the cross, whatever. And you can have seats or seats on the council. And they will come. And let's try the mule deers and leave it at that. Okay, now it's storm season. Can we try again? Yay, we did it! Orlanth leaves on his great quest, and Elmal remains to protect the stead against the forces of chaos. The Eater of Skin, a chaos monstrosity, comes singing the rending song which makes the people bleed. Elmal shall let it step on him, in order to gain leverage and throw it away. The force of the creature's weight was so great that Ortosi's legs were torn from him. Ortosi seized the Eater of Skin and hurled it into the sky, where it was burnt up, never to be seen again. Only after he had defeated the creature did the people of the Storm Tribe see that the fight has broken Ortosi into pieces. How fitting. They wail in despair. Our defender is gone! What do the worshippers back in the ritual round do to help Ortosi knit himself back together? Well, they give 50 goods to Chalana Roy. No. They give of him their tears. He knitted himself back together. And everyone, whether from Deathholm or the Storm Tribe, rejoiced. The next chaos enemies come. The next is the author of sores, who causes old wounds to fester. We shall club at her about the head. Her head came off, but leapt forward and tore at his chest. And then we shall lance her with our spear. The author of sores shook and howled, and green muck oozed from the creature's body, and it fell upon Ortosi, melting the flesh it touched. And then we shall buffet her with the wind of Orlanth's sword. The author of sores groaned, her sores closed up, and she did not like this, for the sores were the source of her power. She caused the skin of Ortosi's leg to pop open so he could hardly stand. Chop at her legs! Let her tear you apart? Other sores did so, and then destroyed the stead of the storm trap and slew everyone inside. God damn it, dude. He's just not meant to live. A delegation of beef will come to your clan to warn you that you have gravely offended their people. If you harm us any further, you will suffer, says their leader, Centaur. Iron Hoof will come back, snorts the Minotaur. And if that happens, you will surely be destroyed, quacks their duck ally. Let's go over here, apparently. Uh, we will offer them compensation. Yeah, let's give them a treasure. Um, do you want... Um, hmm. I kind of like most of these. Here you go. Why don't you have this? These idiots. Okay, there are often tension between Elmal clans and Orlanth clans who do not respect us properly. A pledge of respect for Elmal must be contained in the new tribe's rights of kingship. Each clan must sacrifice to Elmal each holy season, and we must be guaranteed two seats on the tribal council in perpetuity. Let's give them some gifts. Uh, teach sun magic. Uh, pledge rights of kingship. Sacrifice to Elmal. Ten. Wealth. Okay, and they're good. And that's enough for me. We have enough clans. 
So, you and the honoring mule deer, Isolting, and Erneldori clans all gathered for a moot of a confederation. It soon becomes clear that there are serious problems with the deals you've negotiated. The concessions you gave to some clans displeased the chieftains of other clans. When this is made clear, the chieftains who won their concessions became offended. Two of the clans are especially unhappy. It looks like this new tribe of yours might be dead in the cradle. Give cows to dissatisfied clans. We shall give them 30 cows. It's not so bad. Uh, persuade them that the deal is better than they think. And they're happy. Now you have other clans wanting to join with you and become a tribe. You must choose a king. King must be able to lead and protect the people of the tribe. He or she must be strong and generous. Once a candidate is chosen, the candidate must design and complete a sacred rite unique to your tribe. All future kings will have to undergo those rites as well. We can win support, but we don't have anyone. Support can, what do you think? We must repair relations with other clans before we take the throne. Uh, support and support a king. Better to get, support a king and get cows than to be a king and give cows. You're an idiot. We must support the Ernal Lori. Allow me to test my eloquence. Yeah, let's support the Ernal Dory with our law speaker. Uh, eloquence swayed the clans, and our candidate, Antarios of the Ernal Dory, was chosen to rule. Uh, let's see, what do you think we should do? The time has come for Antarios, the first king of the Deathomaniacs tribe, to undergo the rites of kingship. Because this is a new tribe, the magicians and priests have had some latitude in designing the rites. Future kings will have to follow them precisely. If he fails to complete these rites, he loses all claim to the throne. It is possible that the candidate will be harmed by enemies attracted by the magic of the rite, or be devoured by angry spirits. Uh, to hmm, make sure the tribal regalia is good enough, lend our magic, whatever. Enjoy the historic occasion. Sacrifice to the gods. We could use bad magic to stop him from becoming king. Let's just enjoy the occasion. He completed the rites, and the celebration lasted for days. So, while we aren't the king, we're in pretty good shape, and we made a tribe. Uh, once we become king, we can actually start winning the game, but we need a candidate to start, you know, doing the king thing. We don't have that right now. So we're probably going to feed some people to the crag spider and see if we get some leaders. But we're going to do that next time, and I'll see you there. Until then.